This will be to show how to draw hexagons into an image and some very basic image editing. I'm making this video for two reasons, which I'll get into later, but for now you can start by downloading GIMP and installing it. Uh, it's free and the link will be in the description. It's your typical installation of just hitting next until you finish, and it's available for Unix, Mac, and Windows. Uh, while you do that, I'll quickly go over the two reasons. First is because I've also been looking for a guide of how to apply like a hexagon filter to an image, but at the time of making this, there simply wasn't any that I can find. And the second reason is that hopefully someone who knows more about image editing that sees this can tell me of a better way of doing it, uh, since I'm no expert. This is just something I found out from experimenting. Uh, if you haven't finished the down downloading and installation yet, uh, just pause the video because I'm going to start now. We'll start by opening up GIMP. Then you go to File, Open, and then select whatever image that you want to edit. Uh, I guess we'll just go with this one. And then, if you don't have the toolbox, you can open that from Windows Toolbox. And if you don't have the layers, you can go to Windows, Dockable Dialogs, and clicking Layers. Or Control b and Control l if you're in Windows. Uh, to make the hexagon, just go to Filters, Render, and click Gfig. And then from there, click Show Grid, Snap the Grid, and then go Edit, Grid, and set the grid type to isometric. Uh, your grid spacing is how big the hexagon can be. So if it's 10, you can make very small hexagons, but for now we're just going to go with 30. Then you can click this to select what color you want your hexagon outline to be. I'm going to go with just a light color to contrast like the dark and black color of this image. Then click Browse, and then for the brush, or I'm just going to select a pixel 3x3. Three three. And then you can click Create Star, and then click in your grid to whatever you want to draw your hexagon. And then drag up. You're going to start with this image, then click Move a Single Point, and click the center point. Click and hold it, and then, oops, not that one, the center one, then drag it down. You now have your hexagon. From there, you can click Copy an Object, then click the center of it, and then drag it. Hold and drag to wherever you want to put the next hexagon. We're just going to go with a simple pattern like that for, the, for now. And then click Close once you're done with that. Now you have your hexagon layer and your uh, original image layer. Uh, what you want after this is we're going to want an outer hexagon layer, an inner hexagon layer, and the hexagon layer itself. So to do that, we can start by dupl dupl duplicating uh, the hexagon and then this one too. Drag that up. And then just make this one visible for now, this hexagon layer, and click the fill tool and fill it with a different color that, than your hexagon layer. So if you're going to go with a black hexagon, you can't choose like a black fill. Then make the or your original image visible again. Now you're going to have this. Then click your uh, hexagon layer and right click it and click merge down. You now have one layer, which is just this image. Then click your fuzzy tool. Click inside the hexagon and press delete for each hexagon. And then that's what you're going to have. This is now your out outer hexagon layer. Now, uh, we're just going to name it out text for now. Then after that, dupl duplicate your hexagon layer. And then you're just going to have this. Make that ground visible. Go back to your fill again. And then select all. And then fill it with a different color than your hexagon. And then drag your original image. Uh, just below the copy. And then make it visible. And this is your inner layer now. So right click, and then click merge down, and then click the fuzzy tool, and then click in your background and press delete. This is now your inner hexagon layer. I will call it in hex. So if you make everything visible, you get your outer hexagon, and then your inner hexagon, and then the hexagon itself. We're going to bring the hexagon layer at the very top. And the purpose of this is so you can 
edit each layer separately. So for example, if you wanted to change just the hexagon color, uh, you click that layer and go select all and say, uh, we'll go to view saturation and then I guess uh, if you want to make it darker and just basically just change the hexagon itself without affecting anything else, you can do that. And then similarly, you can do that with the other layer, which is just this. So if we wanted to go to colors and say go to color balance and make the outer layer more red, see it doesn't affect the hexagon or the the stuff inside the hexagon. And lastly, it's the same thing for the inner hexagon. And there's more than uh, the colors option for editing. You, there's also filters, but that's a lot more complex. So I'm just gonna go with colors. Uh, we'll go with brightness con contrast for this one. We'll make it darker and more no, increased contrast and there you go now you have an image that is 10 times worse than the original but now that you saw the steps hopefully you'll be able to edit the images better than this and if you know of a better way than this then please let me know but to end it you can go to file and click export and then you know rename it find wherever you want to save it uh, edited image Hex. God damn it. And click export. And then just click. Uh, you can increase the quality on. I'll, I'll make mine 100%. And click export. And then you will now have a JPEG of that image that you have here. And from there, you can set it as your desktop background. But you probably don't want to do it with this image. And there you go.